Okay, it's time for number four. Air one ER20 bed level and calibrate Z for the BL touch. Let's do this. So before we do anything else, I always like to write down and save the default stock settings. So we're gonna go to configuration. And I'm gonna note down the probe Z offset, which for me is negative 2.60. Negative 2.60. I wrote it down for myself. And now we're gonna go ahead and click calibrate Z. And it's going to start to calibrate the Z probe offset and I'm going to scroll and say yes. It says waiting. I have my piece of paper ready. Alright, the screen reads move Z until nozzle touches the bed so we're just gonna do exactly that I'm gonna lower the Z until it touches the bed That's it right there. So I got that setting right there, which I gotta note down. Move Z plus zero 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 point one. I'm gonna say okay and I'm gonna save the Z value. Alright? And doing so changed my probe Z offset from negative 2.60 to negative 2.50. So my new Z offset is negative 2.50. And then I like to do this, which is save settings. And I'm gonna go back and make sure. Yep, my settings were saved. So we're good. Now we're gonna go and do to motion and go to level bed and we're gonna let it do the bed leveling routine and we're gonna see how it goes hopefully everything goes fine we gotta keep our fingers on the reset button it's looking good so far It's doing the probing point as you can see it's moving from one point to another very cool and it's done leveling the bed I'm just gonna move the bed up I'm gonna give the bed a real nice wipe of IPA and we are ready to print alright so we just did the bed level and calibrated our Z 
and it's time to do some test screens we're gonna load some sample filament that came with it and we're gonna wipe our bed really good with 70% IPA isopropyl alcohol and we're gonna hit off one of the test prints that came on the SD card all right guys my bed is heated to 60 degrees I'm just gonna give my bed a real nice wipe with isopropyl alcohol you know with shipping and all the stuff these things accumulate a lot of gunk so be liberal the first time you really need a nice clean bed with glass so this bed looks really nice we're just gonna give it a real nice wipe and clean all that gunk off Just get in there. Get it clean. That was actually really clean. Barely anything came off. Nice. All right. So our bed's clean. Let's load some of the sample filament. I never save these. I don't know why some people save these. These are best to test that sample G cord stuff that comes on the SD cord. SD card. Be careful. I'm snipping stuff like this. I have a pair of scissors, I just don't know where I left it. Okay. Just gonna load the filament here. I still don't understand. I mean, as we figured out, this was the machine I got. The, the holes were machined on the wrong side. They should have been here, not here. But I'll talk to everyone about that. We'll see what they can for me so there's what we do we just give it a little snip if I can find the start of the there it is all right just gonna snip it at an angle and again nice and clean Just gonna straighten this up. Ooh, brittle. See, there, these, this is cheap crap sample filament, so don't expect big things from this. So, I'm gonna snip this again. All right. We're just gonna use this for a couple of test prints, and then we're gonna load some of my own filament and print some of our test prints which we're gonna slice ourselves and Cura I like Cura slide it in I gotta bend the tip a little bit so it goes in it's nice it was curling up a little bit. There we go. Ooh. I can feel some resistance. Why the resistance? Alright, guys, I've loaded the filament and it's extruded some. The black filament is out. I extrude some more. Let's see how it flows out. It's coming out nicely, nice and straight. And 
add it through some more. There you go. Can you see that? Right? All right. And you can watch this wheel here when it stops turning. That means your extrusion is done, whatever you ask you to extrude. Would have been nice if they had a little knobby thing here so you could see it moving. Still turning. Okay, we are done loading our filament. for our first test print I'm just gonna leave the machine like this now because I want you guys to see how the prints are going all right let's do the number five test prints on SD card I'm gonna go here and we're gonna go to print from media there's one two and three I do not know which one's what so I'm just gonna go with mm, let's go with one we'll see what one G code is it says you want to start the print yes I want to start the print for the print to start. So while, while this print starts, uh, I mean, I've been really impressed with this machine so far. And I just hope that the first print goes fine. But this has been one of the easiest printer assemblies I've even seen in a long time. It's starting. So I really like the build quality. It's beautiful. Nicely covered box so there's no room for dust or anything to go anywhere. Looks gorgeous. Very clean. TMC 2209s, Trinamics, auto homing. There you go. Let's see. Is it gonna work or is it not gonna work? Oops, I shouldn't have done that. My bad. Creature of habits. Just gonna probe the bed. I think that's just the extruder stepper making the noise. Okay. Oh, I don't know. Oh, there it comes. Business. Looks like it might need a little more squish. Yeah, it probably needs a little more. So when you tune live, just remember the offsets when you do ba Z baby stepping, because we're gonna save those offsets later. our offsets so I'm just gonna try and mainly adjust and get a little more squish or you know what let's just let this one as is we'll come back to it later let's just run it start and see how it goes 
I will get back to you guys when this is done. Okay, so our first print failed because it stopped extruding. So I'm gonna have to check why that happened. So I just decided to unload this filament and load this my own roll, but I think the problem is because of this super acute of an angle, and the problem is because the holes for the filament puller are machine on my machine on the wrong side. So we're gonna give it a shot with this. If we have the same issue, then I have something that we can mount the filament on the side and we're gonna run a test with that. So just waiting for the change filament prompt to happen here at the nozzle. And then we're gonna get our G code started again. I was leading up. I can push the filament through. So all that looks good. So we don't have a clog for sure, because I can push the filament through, it's coming out nicely. There we go, filament's inserted, waiting for the purge to happen. And this is how change filament prompt works, friends. There is absolutely no clog. As you can see, the filament is coming out real straight and nice. This is how you can tell that your nozzle is not clogged when your filament just drops in a straight line and just spirals at the bottom. Perfect. Our purge is done. I'm gonna say continue. And we're gonna start our test print again. And now we know it was a calibration XYZ cube and here it goes again. Once again, I'm just gonna let it run. I know the layer needs a little more squish. We're gonna figure that out later, but first test run, complete stock. There we go. I like to catch these boogers. <laughs> All right. Let's see how this works out this time. 